Well, it's not often that we get NHL players up here in the booth, but we had. Jamie Benz went up here a couple times. His brother used to play for us back in the day. Madonna has been up here. Eddie Belfour has been up here. But now we've got a new goalie, young goalie. Jake Ottinger is here. Well, first of all, welcome. Yeah, thanks for having me. So now I'm assuming you, you know somebody on the Fort Wayne team because I saw you were on their ticket list today. I do, yeah. I'm uh, Me and uh, Ty Delandria are here to watch uh, one of our best buddies, Ty Fellhaber. He's uh, on Fort Wayne, so... When we saw he was going to be an Allen, we've been looking forward to this for a while. Well, it's good to see you, and uh, congratulations on, wow, what, what a great start to your NHL career. They always say, and, and maybe it's unfairly, and, and we had uh, Marty Brodeur up here a couple of years ago. His, his son Jeremy used to play for us, and I asked him about goalies, and he said, we're just slow developers. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I think it's, uh, you know, every case is different. I think, yeah. uh, you know, for me, it's kind of been, uh, I've had great opportunities everywhere I've gone, and. Um, you know, the thing about pro hockey is you got to make the most of your opportunities when you get those chances. So, uh, you know, usually goalies, it takes a little bit longer, but, you know, hopefully you can, uh, if you're like me and you can get a good opportunity when you're young, you can make the most of it. Well, this is, what, your second year, full year as starting goalie? Yes. Okay. Yep. Did you have that feeling going into the season because, you know, you never know what a season is going to be like, injuries, things happen. But did you see what happened or what's happened this year? Did you see that one coming? Yeah, I mean, I think after last year, you know, like the way the season ended with the playoffs and stuff, I felt like I was, you know, confident in myself coming into this season. And I knew that, uh, you know, I wanted to just build on the good things I did last year. And um, I knew if I play the way I know I can, then I can be a great goalie in this league for a while. So for the young goalies out there listening, we got a lot of kids that listen to the broadcast. Uh, what advice would you give to a young kid who says, all right, I want to take that route of a goalie? Yeah. What would you say? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, if I had to break down to one thing, I think, you know, it would just be make the most of your opportunities. I think, uh, you know, when you get thrown in there, you never know when you're going to get another chance. So, um, you know, you just got to have fun. And when you get your chance, lay it all on the line. Fans always ask this. I've asked a few different NHL players. Uh, what's the biggest difference from guys that play at this level to guys that play in the show? Uh, that's tough. I think, uh, you know, guys in the NHL, I think, are just – in the right spots all the time. I think, uh, you know, everyone knows what, uh, you know, what is, is asked of them and everyone has a job to do. And, um, you know, when you get to that high of a level, everyone's doing their job at such a high level. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of great guys on our team. When you walked into that room for the first time, you saw Jamie Benn, you see Tyler Sagan. Yeah. Were you nervous at all? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was, uh, you know, I think maybe about six months ago I got over the starstruck uh, being around those guys. Obviously, uh, both been in the league for a long time. And, um, you know, big personalities and personas and whatnot. But, you know, at the end of the day, they're just normal guys like me who love to play hockey and love to hang out with the guys. So it's uh, they're both great guys, and I'm, I'm lucky that I'm on their team. This is Jay Gottinger, Dallas Stars goalie, joining us here on the intermission. Did you always want to be a goalie from, from day one? No, I didn't. I, uh, I played defense, actually, for until I was about 11, and then a goalie on my team got pulled up to the, the team above me, and uh, they asked if anyone wanted to step in. And, uh, you know, I was just like, I'll, I'll give it a shot, and ended up being pretty good at it. And then you, right away from the very beginning, you knew that that was where you were headed for the rest of your life? <laughs> I think so, yeah. I think when I was playing D, sometimes I would, like, be behind the goalie trying to keep the puck out. So I think I had kind of that natural, uh, you know, want to stop pucks. And, uh, you know, I'm just happy I, I gave it a chance. Eddie Belfour, who was part of our ownership group for a while here, told me that now that he's done, he plays in any alumni games, he's playing out. He does not want to get yeah. between the pipes anymore. Do you ever get that itch or in practice you want to get the out there with a stick and, and take a slap shot at somebody? Yeah, I wish. I tell the guys sometimes uh, I want them to go on the net and I'll shoot it at their head and see how much they like it. So uh, not, not fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So if I get the chance to skate out, I, I love doing that too. This uh, is Jake Cottinger joining us here on the Americans broadcast. New coach this year, Pete DeBoer. Mm -hmm. How tough is that? You know, you're a young player. You're coming in. You, you get used to a, a coach the year before, and then all of a sudden the change comes. How tough is that on a young goalie? Yeah, it can be really tough. I, I mean, I loved playing for Rick Bonus last year. He was great to me and, uh, you know, gave me every opportunity to be a, a starting goalie in the NHL, and I'll, I'll, you know, be in his debt for that for, you know, my whole career. And um, obviously you, you never know what you're getting into with a new coach, but um, Pete and I have got along great. He's, he's a great coach, and there's a reason that, you know, he's – He's had so much success in this in the NHL, and um, he's been around a while. And um, you know, he and I have had a great relationship so far. And um, you know, I think it's easy to you know have things going well when you're when you're winning a lot of games, which we've been doing. Obviously, you brought Ty up here with you tonight. Yeah. But who, like, who's the most intense guy? Who's the fun guy to hang around with the room? You're going out for a night of 
you know, beers on an off night or something like that. Who's who's the most fun to hang out with? I think I think Ty is definitely up there. He's uh, we were just in Mexico for All Star break, and he's uh, he's a great guy to have out when you're when you're going for beers. But I think you know, seeing how people react to like Tyler Sagan and Jamie Ben is pretty fun yeah. to to sit back and watch too. So it's good. That's awesome. We got to get Ty in here too. He's a Toronto here kid, I know. But before you leave, would you do a? And I used to work for the Ticket. Are you familiar with that radio yeah, station? Yeah. Okay. I worked there for a long time in the the midday show. They used to have them do what they call the cheap plug liner for the broadcast. Okay. Can you do something very simple like, hey, this is Jake Ottinger, and you're listening to Allen Americans Hockey? Hey, this is Jake Ottinger, and you're listening to Allen Americans Hockey. He's a true pro. Hey, you're awesome. fun to watch in the net. Thank you for Thank coming you. up. Yep, thanks for having me.